My name is Tomer. I'm an artist. I was born and raised in uh, Jerusalem, Israel. I moved here when I was 23, right after I finished uh, um, my time at the military. Yeah, we are in downtown Los Angeles. This is our uh, gallery where I'm working at. This is my space where I show my stuff and I actually create. So I, I really paint everything, like uh, from landscape, cityscape, uh, figurative art, uh, portraits, um, um, abstract, I, I really paint everything. But I mainly focus in the past few years in figurative and, and, and portraits mostly. I found that as, as an impatient person, I'm not a person with a patient, uh, portraits I can really spend over 80 hours on one painting and that's why I just uh, I'm painting portraits because it, it's really um, attract me to you know keep going with the with painting so you know um, it, it, it's very difficult to explain, to explain the process because when I paint someone and I put so many hours into that phase I I, I really try to find that connection with them. And, and when there is no connection, I have a hard time to put so much, so much time on the face. So, you know, it, 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 you gotta get to know the person. You have to um, have a little talk, get to know the person, to dig a little bit about them. And, and, and it's something that comes from the stomach. You know, there is no specific process to it. You know, it's not, um, every every time every person I create about is, is is different. You know, I have Anthony Bourdain right here behind me. I've I've never met Anthony Bourdain, but I just fell in love with the guy and I wanted to create about him. But you know, I, I, most people I create about I've met and I hang out with, um, but some of them I I, I just can't explain that connection. It's, it's yeah, it has to come from the bottom of the stomach. I don't know what makes you an NFT artist. It's just um, I'm creating. You know, I, 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 as I say, I do exactly what I've done before. It's just the platform and the people are a little bit different. That's it. So I, I kind of keep doing what I've what I've been doing for the past 17 years, and I probably will keep doing this for uh, as long as I'm alive and I can uh, move. You know, um, um, any recommendation for other artists? Uh, keep doing what you do. You know, it just. You know, it's kind of hard to tell because um, um, every artist is working differently. The platforms are a little bit different. Um, the, you know, the, the way you go, technically, the way you go about it a little bit different, but it's for me, it's the same thing because when you create, it, it has to come from the same place and I try to keep it that way. Well, I'm very into the future. You know, I, I have a great expectation from uh, the future. I believe in the future. I, I, I truly believe that um, uh, that space uh, gave a great voice to uh, uh, a lot of artists out there, a lot of great artists out there. The art world is very, very a closed uh, place. Um, a, you know, a kind of don't accept uh, everything which which it portrayed itself as do accept a lot of type of art, which is not. The NFT space is a lot more open, and 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 and, and that's what I like about that. Every, everything is acceptable. Every, everybody is acceptable. Everything is so fun and cool and collaborative. Not easy. Not easy. It's super hard. Very difficult. People putting their their life into it, but but at least you know they there is another world, another dimension. Of art, where you can bring your 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 stuff into, which is great. I think um, I think it's a, a revolutionary um, a moment for artists, and and I and I push and and I encourage a lot of creative uh, um, uh, people to try and learn about the people, the community, and 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 the type of art, the technology, but don't forget where you come from. So. So obviously, um, um, you know, I've been hearing about that for a pretty long time, and but it took me a while to understand 
why should I do that? Why should I get into it? Why should I get into digital art and what can I bring to that world? So it took me over a year and for a full year I've been investigating, learning a lot, meeting different people, um, but I was trying to find my way into that world. And I would say maybe uh, three, four months ago, I kind of find my way, met great people, and thanks to the people I've met, uh, I'm, I'm creating a lot in, in that space right now. It's not about um, the medium of the art, is I, I do exactly what I did before, it's the people. So, you know, for me, it's all about the people, the type of people I'm, I'm uh, creating about and working with. Um, and same, same in, in the NFT space, you know, I will buy two types of NFT, one um, of a really good art that I like, and the other thing of uh, the type of people that creating that art. So with, with Camp Kilmer, it's both. You know, the art is great and the people are great. So that's why I'm so stoked about this project. Um, I, I, I love the whole crew and, and the team and, and everybody. And, you know, it's just so much fun to work with people that, you know, uh, um, you know are, are so cool and, and, and they, you know, they, they give you that love and, you know, just, just, just the real people, you know, and it's just fun. It's, it's really fun. I'll make it short, you know, I, uh, I, one night I showed up in the studio, I was super down, you know, I hated everything I, I saw. So I just took a huge bucket of white paint and I started to whitewash my entire studio, the entire paintings. Um, and, and I started to write on the paintings, the, the feeling I had in the moment. And I whitewashed really good portraits I, I've done before. And I was I kind of holding my head and I'm like, oh my God, I, that was a really bad choice. And I wrote down a painting, a big, like huge nine foot painting, like gonna make some bad choices tonight. And that, that's how everything started. Which by the way, um, you know, that bad choice um, brought me into um, uh, a great choice. So, so, so bad choices is about those bad choices that you make that turn into a good choices. That's what he's all about. There is no such a thing. I uh, I, uh, I do create about people. I get motivated by people. I am a people person. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't have any boundaries. Well, look, I uh, I intend to make bad choices in my life, right? But not always. The thing about Kilmer is uh, actually a good choice. So I don't know, I don't know maybe I, it's kind of hard to tell right now because everything about that is so positive. The bad choice thing is is is, is those things that started very negatively and turned into very positive. It, this project it just started really really good, so you know I, I I think I'd like to keep it that way. You know I, I think I I spoke a lot today, but <laughs> um, you know I I I, I really. Can't wait for, for, you know. I enjoy the process. You know, I can't wait for the for for um, um, the result and what, what what's going to come out of from the art as as far as like the, the you know the, the art piece. But in the other hand, I don't want to. I kind of don't want to finish it because I really enjoy it from the process, and um, I really hope that um, to continue to create with Cap Kilmer. And I um, and I, I just you know Ken Kilmer is um, um, one of one of the reasons that you know I'm in this space you know that's that's a great you know if you ask me why I'm in the space like Ken Kilmer is a great reason um, so I, I just don't want it to end.